and welcome to Granny's Sunday tea time tea time video. <laughs> welcome to Granny's cafe. So today it's going to be a simple snack. I'm not going to be eating a lot, but I will show you how to make instant matcha latte boba tea. Okay. So first, you'll need a a sturdy glass. And this is from my daughter, Crystal. Thank you, Crystal, for the crystal. And I made, I have matcha powder. So I, you know, mixed it in hot water, liquefied it, and made it all ready. And then I look in the pantry and I see this. So I will make it out of this to show you guys. And they come in a box of how many? I don't know. Maybe ten. Doesn't say. Maybe six? I think six. I don't know. So I'm gonna be making this. So what you do is you get your glass first, right? You're sturdy, durable. Don't get one of those um, thin glass wine glasses or anything it'll it'll break so i have my water here you get one of these and this is a korean brand matcha it says marcha latte it's green tea latte okay sometimes koreans they just it, marcha latte okay it's matcha but so that's what it looks like okay you can find these at the Asian stores, Korean stores, grocery stores. So how are you guys doing? Let me put this down here so I could see you guys, so you could see me. Okay, and it's just green powder. Just mix it in there. And I have my hot water. Don't put too much because I'm drinking a cold boba tea. I also brought boba. So you want to mix this up. Get a little whisk. And whisk it up. Make sure it melts. The color is very light. I like mine kind of dark, darker. And I pre-made my boba. There you go, boba balls, okay. And um, I left it so long that it got really thick. But I, put, I added honey in here so it doesn't get all dried up and yet it'll be sweet. I did not rehearse this because I don't like to rehearse making food and making it twice or three times, so whatever happens will happen. And welcome, welcome back all you regulars that come in here. Thank you so much, I really appreciate you. And all the newcomers that are here, thank you and welcome. So on Sundays, I, I come to my little cafe corner. And I do not eat a lot on Sundays, but I try to make, you know, I try to fancy things up here, okay? That does not look very appetizing, but it's gonna taste good, okay? Sometimes the looks. And then I have my, oh, my sweetener. So I use stevia, zero calorie, natural stevia leaf sweetener. Today is Sunday, I'm just gonna go all out and do two packs, okay?
and I have my milk. Remember these jars in the olden days when milk was delivered to your door by a guy on a bicycle, you know, with the dairy white hat on? So I hope this color is pretty. And yes, I try to match my taste. I like matcha boba teas to be darker, so. It is good though, but I will be back. So I'm back. And Remember I told you I made my own from scratch? Well, not from scratch, but you know, the real matcha powder. This, I like it dark like this, so I'm just gonna add it. And you can see already how beautiful that looks. I like my matcha teas kind of dark, you know, this kind of green. And the boba's in there. The only thing that's missing is my my pretty spray, remember? I thought this was already open. Okay. And I like a lot of whipped cream. So I got that going. Stick a straw in there. Let me, oh, oh no, wait. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. Do you see the boba going up there? Hmm. They taste like rice cakes. So I didn't tell you what I have here. A lot of you may know already. I have, I think these are shrimp. Are they called chips or crackers? Shrimp chips, okay. And I made them myself. They come all dried up. You know, like hard vermicelli noodles, the clear noodles, but these are colored. So I got these and I just deep fried them and they're very good. Mm. And shrimpy. <laughs> So how is your Sunday going? These are very, very, very good. Look, this is a mixed color one. Have you seen anything like this? They taste like shrimp. So throughout the week, during this week, I'm thinking, what should I share about this Sunday? Because you know, many of you know that on Sundays I share my faith. And in my beginning videos, I was very serious and I did like 45 minutes of sharing the word and like a sermon type of, you know. And I got a lot of stress because 45 minutes of talking 
and getting into the scripture and, you know, homemade boba tea is very good. It tastes just like the kind you get with half, maybe one fourth of the cost, maybe less than that. And these, they're not shrimp crackers. You know those uh, wide, clear noodles? One day, I just fried these, and they're pretty roasty and good. And the color is so white. Because these came in white, but the white, it was like off-white. It was not very pretty, so I just fried these. And now that I know how to edit, I'm going to put a clip of, it's like a cartoon message that, that blessed me so much. I used to just watch, you know, those all the time. It's from a K Korean, Korean Christian group company called Tonghaeng, mean, meaning dwelling together or being together. And I'm going to put that clip at the end, so please... You guys, just give Granny some time, you know, and watch that. It will bless you. And today I wanted to share about, I want to share about, you know, all the struggles we go through in life. We go through many struggles. Many difficult times. And there's not one single person that is stress-free in this life, I don't think. Because in one way or another, you are going through some issues. Your fam if you're not going through them yourself, maybe your family, your children, your parents, you know, relatives. And just recently, this past week, the kind of work that I do, you know, I get exposed to like emergency situations. And it breaks my heart when we, when we hear people just ending their lives. And, you know, nothing is worth ending your life for because if this world here is it for us if our physical death is the end of you know human beings the you know our life lives then you know maybe it would be a better way out and so that you don't feel the stress of life but it's not there's an eternal life and so the struggles that we go through here on earth is just a short you know compared to to eternity it's just a you know short amount of time and just remember, you're not the only one going through it. So we need to, you know, get connected with people who are stronger or who have been where we've been. Or if you're that person and you've gone through some issues, maybe you can help somebody else that's, you know, entering into that issue right now. And I just want to encourage all of you guys, never give up on life. Never give up on Jesus because, you know, he, he is the only way that you can inherit eternal life and I'm just going to share one scripture and um, I will put it in the video but I like to share it by reading God's words you know I like the the Bible app on you know on our phones and stuff but there's nothing like you know feeling you know the real you know the Bible because as many of us know, we have power outages, right? And if we have no power, no internet, no whatever, we may, you know, we may not be able to get God's words. But this is handy, you know. We don't need a laptop or a computer or a phone to read God's words if we have this. And I'm just going to read from John chapter 14. And the scripture, and the, you know, the scripture that I'm going to share in the video will be John chapter 14, verses 3 to 5, but 3 to 4, but I want to read from John 14, verses 1 through 1 through 4, and it says, 
Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. This is Jesus speaking. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. And then further down, Jesus says, verse 6, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And so, when we're going through hard times on this earth, just remember, the earth here is not our forever home. Our forever home is in heaven. And the cartoon clip that I'm going to leave at the end of the video, it's cute, and even kids will understand. It's you know, it's so easy and cute, and but it's so powerful. You know, it tells the message that I just read. And if you are interested, you know, look on YouTube, and you could get the full series of all the different messages. The cartoon is simple, kids can understand it, and yet it is so powerful. It brought me to tears. I used, I used to watch these clips and just, you know, I used to just cry because they're, they're powerful and you will feel that too. Just, and I took out the music because I keep getting copyright strikes every time I upload music. So I don't know how this is going to go. I muted the video with word lyrics in them. And I found on YouTube just um, instrumental Christian music. So I put that in there. So I hope, I hope it survives the copyright. Not a strike. It's a claim. So it's not like three strikes you're out. It's not a strike. So I'm happy about that. But it won't be monetized. Regardless, my Sunday videos, I don't care if it's monetized or not. I just want to share my heart with you and... Because it's so important to me and it is important to you whether you acknowledge it or not so please join granny's eternal family I really want all of you to join me there at least when I had to do all these over Should I eat all of these today? If you need prayer, I'll pray with you. I'll pray for you. Comment below. Because we're in this together, you guys. We are on this earth. If you're a human being, we're all in, in it together. Look at this dual colors. And you guys know I like colors. So just remember, Jesus loves you regardless. We need to come to Jesus, repent of our sins, and we need to turn away from our sins, okay? 
And I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm including myself. I'm including everybody. All humanity needs Jesus. And when he does, as you will see in the clip, in the cartoon clip, he will welcome you. And, and you know, it, seemed like, it may seem like forever that we're waiting for Jesus to come and get us. But the time is coming soon. If these were fruity, I could add whipped cream. But this is shrimpy, shrimpy. So I don't think it would be a good combination. But you know, Granny drinks Big Mac smoothies, pizza smoothies, right? So do you think she can tolerate? Granny specialty. I haven't done, I haven't done like gross things. I haven't done challenges in a long time. There's not a good challenge that I'm, that I'm wanting to do these days. But if something good comes up, maybe I just might do a challenge. I used to drink pizzas, drink burgers. What else did I, did I grind up? Oh, bacon. The, what is that? The 12th? The dozen, I forgot what it was called. Anyway, 12 bacon and 12 eggs in 12 minutes. I did that challenge. Look it up. It's in my playlist, in my videos, okay? And I made it. But I made a bacon smoothie. Hey, not bad. With the whipped cream, I don't even taste the shrimp at all. Mm. As I told you, I'm going to try to eat all of this today. These are plain tasting. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys mostly for your friendships. You guys are amazing. You'll be more amazing if you have Jesus, okay? Jesus saves. Subscribe to Jesus. <laughs> Most of all, 
Jesus loves you. Yes, you. No matter what you feel about yourself, no matter what others say about you, Jesus loves you, okay? And he waits there every day, day by day. He stands and he knocks at your door, your heart door, okay? And all you need to do is open that heart up, open that door up, repent of your sins, turn to him. That's all it takes. And then the thing that's going to happen at the end of this video, that will happen for you too. Extremely crispy. If you can get this, get this. Or, I think at any regular grocery store, you can get the matcha powder. And you can get the boba. It's in the dried section. Just boil it. After you're done boiling it, add some honey and leave it out until you're ready to use them. Today's green theme. I'm going to end the video with that one. Please watch the video, the the clip that, that I'm going to add at the end of this, okay? It will bless you, believe me. Have you noticed that I'm finishing my food more often now? I want my channel to grow, not my belly. <laughs> okay, please, if you enjoyed any part of this video, don't forget to like, okay? Comment, subscribe. What else is there? But most importantly, subscribe to Jesus, okay? Subscribe to Jesus. That's the main theme of all my videos on Sundays. 
subscribe to Jesus. It's like eating rice cakes. It's like in Korean rice cakes, they're called dok. It's like chewing dok. Dok a tail. Okay. Today's message is short. Subscribe to Jesus. Your life will never be the same. You'll have eternity with Jesus, okay? Where there's no more crying, no more tears, no more pain, no more hatred, no more feeling bad about yourself. It's like, think about the moment in your life where you were the most happiest, the happiest. I think for me it was when I gave birth. For a lot of women, you know, giving birth to your 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 own baby, that's like the happiest. For some people, it's the day you got married. <sighs> you know, you get to spend eternity with, well, not eternity, but you think, you know, that's what you hope for when you get married, right? The happiest moment of your life. Think about that. Heaven is like that, but there is no end to that happiness. And it's far beyond what we can imagine on this earth. So don't give up on life, okay? Please don't give up on your life here. If you don't know where to go, if you don't know who to turn to, turn to Jesus. And He will change your thoughts. He will change your, your, your words, your actions. He will change your life. Just give Him a chance, okay? And subscribe to Jesus. Thank you guys for staying this long. Please stay for the video. This is the highlight of this video, okay? You could skip all my eating parts. That's not important. Watch the video all the way to the end. You will be blessed. May God bless you. May the peace, peace, <laughs> may the peace of Jesus fall upon each and every one of you, okay? And smile and laugh. And join Granny up there, okay? Because that's Granny's ultimate goal. All right. May God bless you. <laughs>